Well, after the iOS update, a lot of people say their SIM card is just showing you the searching option on their iPhone and it just keeps going on just on and on on their iPhone after upgrading iOS 17. If you see your SIM card is only showing the searching option on your iPhone just like me, then here is how you can troubleshoot the problem. Uh, to troubleshoot the problem, the first thing that i would tell you guys to do is a very simple thing. Just head over to your iPhone and just enable airplane mode for about 10 to 20 seconds. After that, just disable it. And quickly after that, just wait around, um, let's say, 20 seconds more to see whether it gets back or not. So if you see it's still searching and it's not coming back, just like me, then you have to head over to settings on our iPhone. Then you want to just open up your mobile service. And here you got to select your mobile um, network selecting and just turn off the automatic. Now, this is going to take a bit of your time, but once it comes up with all this option with the SIM card, I would say choose the right SIM card and get back here and check whether it is coming back or not. So if you still have problems, then uh, the next thing that you guys have to do, you need to actually eject the SIM card right out of your iPhone and place it back again carefully. Now, often only doing these simple tricks with your iPhone can solve the searching problem on your iPhone after the iOS 17 update. Now, let's say you've done that, but still you've got a problem. Uh, the searching is keep coming back on your iPhone. The next recommendation would be just try to switch your SIM card to a different one. Often, only switching the SIM card can tell you actually the problem is happening with the SIM card or your device itself. Oftentimes, if the SIM card is faulty, then it might happen with your iPhone. Now, once you've done that, if you still see, well, uh, you have problem on your iPhone, lastly, just head over to settings on your iPhone. You want to just open up the general, you scroll down and tap transfer or reset, tap reset and tap reset all settings. Now, enter your passcode. Now, once you just enter your password, this is going to give you this, just tap reset all settings. And after that, this is going to just uh, reset all these default settings that you might have changed and it will eventually help you to solve the problem. But let's say I've done all of that, but it's still you got a problem and you cannot solve your problem, then I will tell you, just take your device to the Apple Care and hopefully they will tell you or give you the further instruction on what you can do next. By now, um, this is how you can solve the problem. If you have any question regarding this topic, guys, just let me know in the comment section. See you around.